Okay, so I just thought I'd share with you a little group theory result called Frattini's Argument, also called Frattini's Lemma. It's an important result in finite group theory, and it's commonly attributed to Giovanni Frattini, an Italian ma mathematician from 1885, but he actually uh, admitted to taking it from a paper of Alfredo Capelli in 1884. Um, the result was used in this paper from 1885 when Frattini defined what's now known as the Frattini subgroup of a group G, uh, which is the intersection of all maximal subgroups of, of G. So the statement of the lemma is as follows. G is a finite group, H is a normal subgroup of G, and P is a CELO P subgroup of H, for some prime p dividing the order of h. So this subgroup of h, p, is a subgroup of order p to the r, where r is maximal. Then the claim is that g equals the normalizer of p in g, h, where here this is the product of these two uh, subgroups as group subsets, and where the normalizer of p in g is simply the set of elements x in g such that when you conjugate the subgroup p by x you just get p back. Okay let's prove the result now. So let g be an arbitrary element of our group g and note that as p is a CELO p subgroup of h that means p is a subgroup of h we can now conjugate both sides of this by g to give us that this subgroup g inverse pg is a subgroup of this subgroup, G inverse HG. But note that because H is a normal subgroup of G, that just means that this G inverse HG is equal to H. So we have that G, the subgroup of G, G inverse PG, is a subgroup of H, and it has the same size as P, because conjugation is one to one. Therefore, the subgroup G inverse PG of H is actually a CELO P subgroup of H. And now we can turn to CELO theory, noting that any two CELO P subgroups of a group are conjugate within that group, to give us that there has to exist an, an element H in H, such that H inverse PH equals this CELO P subgroup of, of, of H. Finally, if we conjugate both sides by H inverse, we get that the subgroup P equals HG inverse PGH inverse. In other words, the element GH inverse is in this normalizer by this definition. And now if we apply H to the right-hand side of both sides of this, we get that the element G is in NGP small h, which is contained in NGP big H. And we have proven the lemma.